A fan. Fan. They're vans. Yeah. I like them. What else? You want to tell them something else? Tell the friends why we don't eat chicken. I eat chicken. Why? I like animals. They're animals, aren't they? Yeah. They want to be loved. Yeah. Not eaten. No. Some people do that. Can you believe it? Yeah. Tell the friends we we don't eat animals. We love them. Tell them. I just don't eat animals. I love them. Can you blow the friends a kiss? <laughs> If y'all aren't here, you are missing out. But I know what you're thinking. What's for dinner, Tanny? <laughs> hey there, and welcome to the messy, sprouty kitchen of Love and Light, where I have just harvested all of these sprouts. These are mung bean sprouts that cost about, I don't know, 25 cents to make all of. Can y'all see that? The light? This is how I like to, to have them when they're just starting to grow leaves. You can shake off the seed jackets if you want, and you could trim off the roots, but why would you do that? So, um, these have just come out of my Fresh Life Sprouter. This is just the top of it, okay? Um, let me show you what the bottom looks like. I already disassembled it, but the bottom looks like this, okay? Fresh Life Sprouter. It's an automatic sprouter. You put the water in the bottom up to the, the fill line, you see? And then you put, um... trays like this you see and then you put the tube on and then you put the sprinkler head on it automatically sprinkles that and you just have to change the water once every couple days and so this has been about two and a half days in the sprouter and um, as you see I have a few left in there but we're fixing to make some crackers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my Vitamix with these and I'm going to come back with the um to you with the recipe, but I just want, I thought you might find that interesting. Look, you talk about serious live food for a live body right there. Do y'all see? Life. Okay, we're going to start off by, this Vitamix carafe is um, 64 ounces, and so I have these packed in, as you see, and I'm going to bring these down a bit and then I'm going to add some other things. So let's just say, um, pretty packed, uh, that's probably about 70 ounces right there of sprouts. So cheap and so nutritious, y'all. Be right back. <laughs> So that was just one fourth cup of um, raw golden flax seeds that I have ground down to meal fresh so that I get full nutrition. I'm going to blend this in and then I'm going to pulse in about another cup to two cups of these to give it some texture. And then I'm going to add any kind of spices I want. I think I'll use, um, let's see. I think I have some Bragg sprinkle in here. Y'all can enjoy this cabinet, can't you? Um, anyway, well, oh, here it is. Let's see. Huh. Look at that. Okay, and then we might have a little bit of, um, let's do something a little spicy, too. Let's do a little cayenne pepper. And, um, okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so we did about, um, two and a half tablespoons of the Bragg sprinkle, which is like an Italian spice kind of thing. And then I had about um, four shakes of the cayenne pepper in there. Now don't put too much if you don't like that. Um, then I added in two more cups of the sprouts, okay? And so that still gives me kind of this texture. You see the batter? And we're gonna smooth this on our Teflex sheets over here in the dehydrator, which is my nine tray Excalibur dehydrator. It is the digital model. And um, I have to 
wipe off this tray grid, but these are Teflex sheets right here so that moist ingredients don't go through. Okay, so we'll see you in a second. Let's also blend in about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, okay? Just to give it a little bit of a acidic balance in there, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. This is spread um, this thick, however much you want to call that, but don't let it get too thin because um, the sprouts, anything that's more watery, even though we didn't add any water, just a little bit of vinegar moisture does shrink. So um, if you have a large dehydrator, this would make like a nice one tray. If you have a smaller four tray dehydrator, it will make two trays. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to score the crackers. And as you see, I just have um, some decorations on top. I have a little more of this Bragg Sprinkle, which you could also use um, Frontier brand Italian spices. Okay. This is not to, to make it go all the way through or to completely keep them apart. It just helps them break apart a little nicer when you go to get them out. Now we're going to put this in the dehydrator at 115 degrees and then we're going to be on our merry way and check them later when we can flip them over. When I flip them over, I'm going to take a grid that doesn't have a paper on it, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, of course, with two hands, and I'm going to turn it over like this, and I'm going to lay it on top of the almost hardened, um, you know, firm-to-touch crackers. Then I'm going to hold both trays in my hands and flip them over. Therefore, this paper would be exposed because now we're going to be looking at the bottom of it. And we're going to gently peel it back, slide it into the dehydrator, and let it get as crispy as we want. So see you later. Yo, hey, yo. What? <laughs> Christopher gave me something. Hey, yo. Look at this. I don't normally like to bring my big computer, you know, which meaning my laptop, out of my office. And now Christopher gave me this little one. Look at it. And I could just play my music and I have my, I have my master stereo speaker of the mini boom bam but first of all can you all enjoy hello look at these <sighs> delicious but that's not why i'm here to talk to you because i want you to see the crackers the sprout crackers are ready the sprout crackers are ready look bam look at these can you can you review Ayo, 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 ayo. Ooh, look how cute. Hello. They're a nice thinness, too. Look. Um, let's have a taste test, shall we? These have a very earthy taste and very delicious. You might want to add a little dulse flakes or wakame seaweed to your mixture if you want it to be salty, which I did not. Mm, let's see here. Shall we get a taste test? Just a minute, I have to put the goodies on there. Look at that. Oh, I dropped some. Look though, this, look how thin. Are y'all, are y'all understanding? Mmm. Mm hmm These are really good. Um, really? You like the way I work my crackers, don't you? Those are good. Y'all should try them. They were easy. This is the super nutritional cracker, okay? That's a live cracker. If I stand here long enough, it will probably start talking to you, right? But I don't have time for all that. I like the way you back it up. <laughs> Do y'all just dance in the kitchen? I can't 
can get down to this little square right here. Like it is, it is ridiculous. It's obscene sometimes. See you later, alligator.